All right, guys. It's Sunday morning. We uh, sprayed the truck yesterday, and I don't know what what happened, but anyway, um, I could not get the paint to lay down decent. It. I used a different gun, and it just got orange peel all over it. The old truck's covered in orange peel. But I mean, we can fix that. That's not a problem. It just, it's a problem that I shouldn't have had to have. Um, and it just, I don't know how well the camera can pick it up, but it's slight orange peel over the whole, the whole truck. But that's okay. We'll color sand that mama down and buff it and then it'll be fine. Just kind of aggravating, you know, that um, I mean, the old rust oleum got a little shine to it, but it will, it'll come around. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to let it out here in the shop today. The wood eater go in and we'll just piddle around. I'm going to pull the gas tank off, I think, and uh, clean it out. Being we got it out, got it this close. Just we'll go ahead and pull the tank and clean it. And then we don't have to worry about that. Any lines or anything like that. Look like it may need replacing. We'll go ahead and do that too. And get these chassis primed in and wire brushed and primed. And make it and paint it. Who knows? But anyway, it is what it is. So backyard paint job ain't going to be perfect every time. So, but anyhow, it'll be okay. We'll get them buffed out. All right, guys. Jeremy's supposed to be on his way up here in a few minutes. And uh, we're going to cut a mini bike in half and stretch it out. And see how that goes. But, but anyway, all right, I'll get back with y'all when we get something going on. All right, guys. Uh, Jeremy, we got the mini bike cut in half, and Jeremy's running, running the Uber now to pick up some tubing and stuff so we can stretch this frame. And anyway, like I say, we painted the Dakota yesterday. It stayed in here in the shop with the heat on all night. I'm fixing to color sand this thing, get this orange peel knocked down, and uh, see if we can't make it look a little better. Which. With the, uh, you know, we painted this thing with uh, rust oleum gloss white. We mixed in the um, Japan dryer and catalyst hardener. So this paint, it cut the paint with acetone. So it kicks off, you know, fairly quick. But it's dry. It's, it's dry, dry. Dry enough to color sand anyway. So we're going to go over it with some water paper and 600 grit and knock the top edges down and then we'll come back with some thousand or twelve hundred and do the fine but it, it'll slicken it right out anyway all right here we go really would be nice if i could be Outside with a water hose, a real slight trickle. But anyway, it's uh, about 40 degrees outside and raining, so I'm not going out there doing it. But anyway, so we'll just do it this way. Just gotta be 
when you're doing a color sign and stuff, or any other realm, you just got to be real careful on these edges. Well, if not, you'll double cut it and you'll be uh, taping up and painting some more. I mean, we put, uh, we put a lot of paint on the truck. We put five coats on it. So it's, uh, I just had that gut feeling we were going to do a lot of the way the paint was laying. Orange peel was going to be a mess. I mean, just, just couldn't get the gun to spray like I wanted it to. I was having a new gun. I should have used my old one, I guess. See it a little better. Come on, let go. Oh, I'm gonna drag the tripod with me, I reckon. Okay. If I can get where y'all can see it. But anyway, that's that's pretty daggum slick. It needs a buffing, but you can still see. I don't know if the camera picks it up. Still, real slight little divots where the orange peel is a little bit right there but anyway we get it down like that get it slick with the 600 and then we'll come back with the thousand and um, come to the door that's a good place if I can get where y'all can see I mean it's just orange peel so, real light sanding. We'll take that rod out. You know, you saw it didn't take me about a minute to. There you go. Now, that might be a better angle. I say, I can see it, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But you can see in the, in the slight little divots that are still here, the little bit of gloss from the paint still, so we're still high. And you just keep coming down as far as you want or to get as much of the orange peel gone as you want gone or feel comfortable getting down. 
But we'll get it slick like that with a 600 and we'll come back over it with 1,000 or 1,200 and do the final cut. And it'll look, it'll be fine. All right, let me put y'all back on the tripod. I ain't getting nothing done. There's the mini bike cut in half. So we working on that too. if I can't get at it. Alright, I'm gonna go get me something to eat and we'll be back at this. Alright. 